What if 50% of all viruses on Earth suddenly became human-sized? This scenario would not result in a World War Z zombie apocalypse. It would be an astrophysical event. If 50% of all viruses suddenly became human-sized, Earth would be instantly annihilated. The volume of this new biological mass would be approximately 300 million times greater than the volume of the Earth itself. The estimated number of viruses on Earth is 10 nonillion. 50% of that is 5 nonillion. The average human volume is approximately 0.066 cubic meters or 66 liters. The total volume of new viruses is 330 octillion cubic meters. Compare this to the volume of the entire planet Earth, which is only about 1.086 trillion cubic meters. So what happens? The instant this transformation occurs, the following sequence unfolds. 1. The meat sphere swallows the moon. The resulting ball of viruses would be so large it would extend roughly 430,000 kilometers from the center. The radius of Earth is 6,371 kilometers. The distance to the moon is 384,400 kilometers. The new sphere of viruses would be large enough to engulf the Earth and the moon's orbit entirely. 2. Instant compression, you would not see giant viruses crushing buildings. Because viruses are everywhere, in your lungs, in the soil, and especially in the ocean, the expansion would happen from inside out and outside in simultaneously. Every living thing on Earth would be instantly pulverized and fused into the new mass. 3. Gravitational collapse. A star is born. The mass of this object would be catastrophic. Assuming the viruses have the density of water, like humans, this new object would have a mass of roughly 330 nonillion kilograms. The mass of the sun, for comparison, is 1.99 nonillion kilograms. This new virus star would be 165 times more massive than the sun. It would likely collapse under its own gravity, ignite nuclear fusion, and explode as a hypernova, or collapse directly into a massive black hole, destroying the entire solar system. So to sum it all up, Earth doesn't just get crowded, it becomes the seed for a black hole that eats the solar system.